Hello everyone. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my message is about how to experience divine rewards or how to experience supernatural rewards. And my subtitle is Seeking God. The Bible says without faith it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack anything good in their lives. God rewards those who seek him. It is not in the nature of God to use you and dump you. God is a generous God. He blesses those who seek him. Therefore, if you want to experience the supernatural blessings of God, you have to diligently seek him. You can't seek God and sink in life. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verses 1 and 2, we read, Now the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded, and he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Friends, the Bible says if you seek God, you will find him and he will never forsake you. Now, this is not just for those who go to church. Anybody on the face of this earth, if you seek God diligently, you will find him and he will never forsake you. Abundance, increase of blessing and divine rewards are for those who seek God continually. To illustrate, if you have parents who live far from you, and you never visit them, you never seek their welfare, you don't look after their well-being, and they have something, guess who they will leave it to? They will leave it to the person who is close to them, the person who looks after their well-being, and always seek to look after them. If you want to experience the supernatural increase and abundance of God, then you have to seek God continually not occasionally. The Lord will command blessings on you and your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving to you. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrows. Blessings are from God. It is not your job. It is not the multinational company you work for. It is not the football team you are playing for that makes you rich. Because I have seen people who have played football in some of the top leagues in the world, but who are now broke. So it is not the work you do that makes you rich. It is the blessings of God that will make you rich. And there is no sorrow that goes with it. Rather, it is joy that goes with it. And the blessings of God comes when you are genuinely connected to Him. If you want a continuous blessing, then never allow God to depart from you. Because if God departs from you, the world will know it and you will feel the effects. God is the pipeline for every blessing. Between your smallness and greatness is God. Every person can become great if they are connected to God. The Bible says in Job, if you will earnestly seek God and will make your supplication to the Almighty, if you were pure and upright, surely he will awake for you and prosper your rightful dwelling place. Though your beginning was small, yet your latter end 
will greatly increase abundantly. Friends, if things are not working for you, if life is difficult for you, then I would like you to check where you have missed it with God because God does not reduce people. Economy does not reduce people. Pandemic does not reduce people. It is when you no longer seek God that things begin to decline in your life. For as long as you are seeking God, though your beginning was small, yet your latter end will greatly increase abundantly. If you are not increasing in life, if you are not growing in life, if you are not progressing well in life, then you are not seeking God. Because God is not a taskmaster. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. He is not an unfaithful God. His character is in Numbers 23, 19. He is not a man that he should lie. Whatever promise God has given in the Holy Scriptures, he would do it. Pandemic is too small to break God's promises and covenant in the Holy Scriptures. You stop what you were doing in the midst of the pandemic. You stop your giving. You stop going to church. You stop seeking God continually. That's why the blessing also stopped. For as long as you are seeking God, increase is sure. Commitment and consistency brings great reward from heaven. Satan has no power over a committed and a consistent Christian. Friends, if you want to experience the supernatural increase and divine reward from heaven, then diligently and continually seek God and all shall be well for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message we've just heard. We thank you for reminding us to seek you diligently and to seek you with our whole heart. We pray that you will enable us in our lives to continually and diligently and consistently seek you to enable your blessings and great reward in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on YouTube and share this message. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.